What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Forder. Today you got me, Solomon here, and we are gonna be working on gold dust. But before I tell you what we're gonna do, if you guys aren't already, please click that subscribe button. Right now we are 500 away from our, my goal, which is hitting 25,000 by the new year. So if you guys can, please smash that subscribe button. So what are we gonna do today? I am going to be taking the entire interior out of gold dust because I'm gonna be using Resto Mod membrane. I'm gonna be covering the whole thing. What Resto Mod is, is actually, let me open up a box, but it's actually a sound and heat detonating material um, that you kind of stick on. So, hold on, we got some stuff in the way. But here we go. This is their membrane. Of course, I'm gonna drop everything along the way. So this is the Restomod membrane. As you can see, there is two layers. So it's got some butyl tape, I believe, then a special rubberized coating, some special aluminum, and then some more rubberized coating. This is the top layer, and then you put a carpet or whatever you want on top of that. So what I'm gonna start with is unbolting the seats, getting those out of the way, taking the center console out, getting that out of the way, and uh, we'll go from there. Enjoy all the time lapses. All right, so we got the interior out with all the seats. It's looking good. One of the things I highly recommend is get a Ziploc bag and fill it with all the bolts. Write down what it is. That way you don't misplace them. So I'm gonna take the center console out now, take out the floor mats and then take out this rubber mat and uh, see what we got to work with. So we'll see when we start uh, taking the center console out. All right, got everything pulled out. It's looking nice. Now I'm gonna vacuum everything up real fast and then pull this out. Still gotta take off all the door sills, but here we go in a time lapse for vacuuming. All right, everybody. So you just saw me take out the carpet. What I didn't know was they had a little bit of insulation glued down, which is a pain in the butt because now I got to figure out how to take all that off. And then they also sprayed like some sort of bed liner and it's coming up in a lot of areas. Doesn't look like it was prepped. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it or if I'm gonna try to take it up, but here is where I'm at so far. And uh, right now I'm gonna grab the vacuum cleaner, vacuum this out one more time and uh, I'll probably keep chipping away. I'm not gonna record the rest of me chipping away because I doubt it's gonna be anything more than what you guys just saw. So I'm gonna pick you back up when something interesting is happening. All right, guys. Well, I didn't do much more, just vacuumed it. Tried cleaning it up a little bit more, um, but it's starting to get a little bit late. Got some stuff I need to do tonight and uh, we will see you guys tomorrow. Hey, everybody. It's the next day for me and uh, I went shopping. Got some stuff that we needed to get this out. 
So I was doing a whole bunch of research last night on what's the best way to remove all of the bed liner stuff that was put on. And I found two things. One is a little bit more dirty, one is a little bit more clean. So I have both. I'm gonna try the clean version first. So the clean version is you get dry ice, which I've got 10 pounds in here and I've got another 10 pounds down here. And you get some 91% isopropyl alcohol. And for 10 pounds, you're gonna use 64 ounces. You mix it together, it turns into like a slurry paste. And then you put that on it it freezes that stuff so much that it just starts cracking. Uh, so that's the clean way. Hopefully that works. If not, a bunch of people on the YouTubes say that this stuff really works. The citrus strip paint stripping gel. So I got some of that too. If the ice doesn't work and I figured the ice will work. So right now they said the best way to get the ice to work is you have to crush the ice first. So I'm going to open it up. I got my hammer and I'm gonna smash it all into a fine powder. And uh, after I do that, I will show you how I mix it and then put it on and uh, bring you guys along every step of the way. All right guys, so now that I crushed all the ice in the bucket, I grabbed 64 ounces of the isopropyl alcohol and I'm gonna pour it in there, take a mixing stick, mix it all up, get it into being a nice slurry, and then I'm gonna pour it on there, so I'm gonna show you how I mix it up. All right guys, so over here you can see I started pouring out all of the ice mixture slurry thing, and pretty much what I'm doing is I'm just spreading all this stuff around, that way it can kind of get on everything and freeze it up. I don't really have a real idea of what I'm doing. I'm just kind of moving it around. I have the scraper, so I'm scraping some stuff up. And you can see that it is picking up a lot of it. It's a little bit messier than I originally thought it was gonna be, but it actually worked pretty good. Um, unfortunately, I think that it is too expensive and a really long process to do it this way. So I'm actually going to, in the next clip, you'll see I'm gonna put down all of that citrus strip and see how that works. So that way we have a little bit of both. And um, it did work pretty good. It's just really tedious and annoying and it's very hard to handle because you have to be careful it freezes your hands and that's that. But uh, it was pretty cool to work with. I definitely say for like a smaller area, it would be ideal. Alright guys, so it's been a little bit. I basically cleaned up a lot of the floor. This is where I was focusing was the driver's floor pan and uh, dry ice the whole thing and then also used this scraper and this bigger scraper to kind of get into all the areas. And it was much more difficult than I originally thought it was going to be. I even got into these areas and uh, seems like the ice actually lifted the original paint right down to the primer. So I got some stuff and it just started really being a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. And the ice is actually kind of expensive. So just that 20 pounds was like 60 bucks. So I don't want to, based on the size, this was pretty much 15 pounds and then about five pounds for some other stuff, which means I'm gonna need a lot and I'm not in the mood of spending some real money on doing all this stuff. So I'm going to try my backup plan, which is using this citrus strip stuff. So what I saw is use that liberally, put it on everywhere that you want to come off and cover it with like a bag. I did a little test piece right there, cover it with a bag, let it just really boil and cook and whatever. And then tomorrow I come back and it'll all just be ready to peel up. So I am going to do that stuff right now. Hopefully it works out good. I plan to, um, 
Osfo etch the floor and then I was gonna do the pour 15 three-step process that way I seal down any rust or any issues that might come in the future so I don't really care um, to save the factory color on the floor which there isn't a ton of it left but at least the floor is solid which that's the most important thing to me so right now I'm gonna grab some gloves and then start spreading on that citrus strip stuff everybody so as you saw just spread all that stuff out and then i covered it with a bag because that's what everybody recommended to do i guess that kind of seals it in and lets it cook so it says to leave it for 24 hours and let's see so right now it's 8 p.m i doubt i'm gonna be able to wait 24 hours but i'm definitely gonna wait at least till tomorrow morning so i'd say 12 15 hours so we will see you guys then good morning everybody welcome back and uh here we are so seemed like it worked so online it said that once it turns to like this white color it means that it worked so let's uh let me grab a scraper one second all right oh wow yeah that's uh that's pretty easy right there Yeah, well, I guess uh, we now know which one's the easier one, citrus strip. All right, well, got a lot of it. Right now I'm going to go put gloves on just so that in case I touch it, I'm gonna peel the rest of this off and uh grab a different mount for this camera so you guys can just see me do it and i don't have to hold it so see you in a second So just finished with that bottle that I had and uh, I'm actually going to go buy probably two or three more bottles but I'm going to let this uh, sit for a while. Okay guys so it's been a couple hours and uh, it's been fermenting. I didn't even lift that stuff up yet but I got a couple more or three more of these so I'm going to start putting it on all the other areas and then uh, just let this thing bake all night and tomorrow hopefully be able to peel everything and it'll be ready to uh, start with the, the next process so uh, here enjoy me putting more of this stuff all over everything
Okay, so just got uh, everything covered with some plastic. That way it can ferment and uh, we will see you guys tomorrow. So right now it's about four o'clock in the afternoon. Let's see what we could do till tomorrow. Hey everybody, welcome back to day three over here. So we got everything to uncover. Let's see uh, how it's looking. All right, all that turned white, just like we want it to. All right, so as you guys can see, all this stuff turned white, which is exactly what we want. And right now I'm gonna grab the scraper, I'm gonna start picking it up. Okay, everybody, I've been scraping and scraping and scraping literally for hours and uh, here is where I'm at. Everything has been picked up, all the white areas have pretty much been picked up. I've got four little collections of this stuff and there's a bunch of little areas that I'm gonna have to go over. So yesterday after I picked up the first main area, um, when I did everything else, I actually put it over and now this area is really clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean, take all this stuff, throw it in the garbage. And then I am going to vacuum up whatever is left. And then I'm going to put one more layer of this uh, citrus strip just so that way it really picks everything up. Um, and then once I finish that, I think I'm going to be finished with the stripping process finally it's taken way longer than i expected it to um so right now i'm going to uh, put all that stuff in the trash and vacuum it and enjoy all right so right now i got everything cleaned i'm going to put one more layer cover it all that way Everything comes off um, tomorrow, so here we go.
just put down one more layer of this stuff after everything's all clean gonna let this just ferment probably the entire night and i'll get back to it tomorrow hopefully i can finish it because today was day three which means it's gonna be four days of doing this stuff and i really thought it was gonna take like a day so uh we will see you back in the morning hey everybody so it's another morning and hopefully this is the last morning of me doing uh this exact same stuff so right now i'm gonna pick up all of this and uh see what we got to work with all right as we can see the stuff worked so right now i am going to start cleaning it all up and enjoy the time lapse Well, that was uh, a lot of fun. So it's looking good. So yesterday when I did this, I actually thought the truck was pretty clean and that we picked up a lot, but looks like we didn't. So right now I'm done with the whole chemically stripping part. Uh, so they say that you should clean off everything that you put that stuff on with some mineral spirits. So I'm gonna put some mineral spirits in this little sprayer. I'm gonna spray everything clean it all and uh that way it is ready for me to go in and then uh, i'm gonna figure out what i'm gonna do from there so right now i'm gonna do all that and i'll show you all right guys so i didn't really take a lot of video of this part just because i was just going and i didn't really care to set the camera up but the whole thing is all clean what i did was um i just took a rat like a microfiber wiped to get all the extra um and then just kept doing that over and over probably did it like 10 times but it looks super good super clean you could actually see because i by mistake not by mistake it it did take off all the seam sealer so you could see all the welds where they make everything so i'm gonna have to get some seam sealer because i've got a ton of different edges that i'm gonna need to fix and uh yeah back wall turned out really really good everything's nice and clean now so I'm going to be ending this video here. I was going to try to make this one long video, but I had no idea how long this was going to take. So the only reason why this took so long is because I was waiting 24 hours just about from when I applied the citrus strip stuff. So uh, I did that three separate times or two separate times. I don't remember. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. If you have any questions, comments, drop them down below. Let me know what you think about this process. And uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, it really helps us out. Uh, so please subscribe, smash that like button. And if you want to get some cool stuff like this hat or some other stuff, head over to FordEra.com. We'll catch you in the next video. But right now on the screen, you guys are seeing the new Goldust shirt. Um, what I'm going to be doing is this shirt is available for pre-order. Pre-order is going to be open from now until the end of the first week of January. At that point, I'm going to put in the order. It'll take probably three weeks, and then I will have all of the stuff that people pre-ordered and then extra shirts after that. So if you guys go into the description below, you will see the link to order this shirt. I'm going to, for pre-order, be doing $25 with free shipping. After the pre-order, I'm gonna be going up to $30, so make sure to jump on that. And then if you guys wanna get some other stuff, check it out. I've got these shirts still in stock it's got three trucks on it. it's got a bump side a fat fender and a dent side got a bunch of different colors still we got license plates we got mugs this is a 
bottle opener, we got a flask, wallets, and then tons of hats. The front is all black, flat bill, green bottoms. All the patches are laser patched. The back is trucker, and then we got these cool seven panel hats, and then I still have a couple of these trucker American flag hats. You guys, head on over, fordera.com.